Hey guys, JTH here, longtime fan and reactor of the movie trivia Schmodown. But the real question here is, how well do you know the Schmodown? Myself, I'll be taking part in the next edition of the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown, presented by Take Through Productions and the official Collider Podcast Network. You'll be seeing me team up with Schmodown Central host Brad Thomas as we take on Team Masterpost, consisting of Tyler Myers and Tin Sim. We might be the undercard match, but let me tell you guys right now, the four of us are real main event talent. We'll be the lead-in match for the triple threat main event match between Abe Flores, Matt Kearns, and Chris Delitzky, with the winner having the opportunity to play either Linus Babcock or Frankie Stats Janish for the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown Championship of the World. Schmodown Trivia Schmodown airs monthly on either Take Through Productions or the official Collider Podcast Network channel. Check out the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page for any updates or details for any matches that may come in the future. This is JTH. Adieu, adieu, and be there. Round two is continuing in the Anarchy Tournament. Now, unfortunately, due to some circumstances beyond anybody's control, a monkey wrench has been thrown into round two of this tournament, as we now have a brand new team in the Harris Brothers. No, I'm not talking about the wrestling group, the Harris Brothers, who are probably most known for beating the snot out of Shawn Michaels in the Garden in their last night in the WWF. No, we're not talking about that, Harris Brothers. We're talking about... Lon and John, of course, the professor, and that other person. Uh, they'll be doing battle with Tate the Cannoli, who's the Cannoli, what's the Cannoli, why's the Cannoli, uh, Brian Chandler, and Drew McWeeny, as he apparently continues to begin his Sam LaHoo crusade. Uh, so we'll find out who comes out on top in this round two match today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. Welcome back. Now, you might not know this, but me smart. And because me smart, me learn from me mistakes. Uh, and one of the things that I figured out that I've been doing recently that I seem to have been causing the demise of certain teams is been talking about who I wanted to win based on personal preference. Yay, gotta have the personal preference because apparently... Uh, the Schmodown gods were just giving the big F you to JTH because they don't care about uh, my preferences. Um, I had talked about how I wanted to see how JTE and Lon Harris uh, would fare, and unfortunately they're no longer a team, even though they did come out victorious. I wanted to see where <coughs> Matt Nost and William Bibiani would go, and they're the way of the dodo now. And based on their chemistry... Doesn't look like they're going to get back together anytime soon. So, um, because of that, I'm not going to talk about who I want to win for personal preferences. We're just going to get into the match. So maybe the Schmodown gods can't read my mind and give the big F you to me. And no, I'm not going to say uh, the actual word or, or do any middle fingers because um, there's kids watching. And got to be good for the kids. And it's, uh, it's almost Christmas for crying out loud. At least I would think that. There's already Christmas music playing at the Walmart. For God's sakes. These people just take up more and more of the calendar. Oh, well. Can't grieve forever. Let's get into this match in 3, 2, and 1. No soda today. Um, We're back to tea. And you're with back to tea. At noon. Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champions of the World. This moment never gets old. I'm sure it gets old to some people, but I don't care about those people. And Brianne Chandler, who put up a valiant effort but didn't get it done there in the title match, she is now going to be paired with the Godfather, the former team champion. <laughs> yeah. Whitney Seibold and Hewitt. Oh, another another this match that I wanted to see uh, based on uh, personal preference. Do you hear that sound, Shire Wolves? That's the end of your reign. Four wins, and this marvelous matchup is coming for you. And your winner! Get yes, into round two, Brian Chandler! 
another great performance. But uh, can can we can we at least see how they how they'll do when Drew doesn't get 80s? Please, he's only gotten 80s 50 bazillion times in teams. Oh, and uh, another thing. And this goes to Christian. If you ever see this, you, you might see it at some point. They came out to Jerry the King Lawler's theme, and that's all fine and well and good, but he was trying to, like, make these teams Christian, make he's the professor. The Lon Harris is the professor. Might, he needs to be coming out to the Macho run. Man theme. Really like Come on. It's, it's common sense. Pomp and circumstances. Uh, the graduation theme. The he's the professor. It's perfect. By Lon's brother, Jonathan, Macho Man theme equals the instant Harris superstar. Brothers. Remember that. The Harris Brothers, another wrestling connection. That, I have seen Lon's brother before then. I, the name sounded familiar. I thought I had seen a Jonathan Harris once before, and it is the same person. There. So he's not a complete unknown, even though it's an unknown in trivia, uh, the trivia aspect. Forgot, didn't even know how to say aspect for a second there. And it's on the screen. <laughs> hello, Mark. Hello, Christian. The gang's all here. And, and look, Christian's even wearing the, the wrestling theme Schmodown shirt. He's yeah, into the wrestling atmosphere. We need the Macho Man theme in Schmodown. And Lon's our man. Oh, yeah. Lon here. Come on. The Macho Man theme. It was a terrible Macho Man. I get it. Don't make me whip out my President Bush, though. President Bush would say that this is a great uh, anarchy tournamente, or they say in the Spanish, uh, torment. You're not a fan of them? I find them to provide a nice public service. Well, they also provided a hospital bill for JTE. Because the great thing about a great torment is, uh, expecting the unexpected. Lon Harris reaches out and gets his brother, another professor, to go ahead and compete, hence the Harris brothers. Now, I don't know anything about John. I don't know. His name is John. John John. Lon and John. Yeah. You gotta love that family. Lon Such and John. Yes, yeah. We knew it was coming on. Um, if he's good, we're gonna find out today. But they're going up against Take the Cannoli with Brianne Chandler and Drew McQueenie, who had arguably the best performance of round number one, scoring 35 points, tying the record previously held by above, uh, previously held by above the line and top 10, and they are now tied within their first match together. Did the tied team high team, score record show up during the match? John I don't think Harris it did. Was that an add-on later on? The cannoli could be in trouble. Hard to put it all in his Maybe I just completely missed it because I was so disappointed that the movie geek and Whitney had lost. And it doesn't fare that well most of the time, especially if you're looking at the playoff <coughs> format. You look at the Star Wars match. Still been a bit of a nagging call, so I apologize in advance. I know Alex was thinking he was going up against Sam Witwer here. Take the cannoli is going to be the same. But don't worry, I'm not going to die. Unlike YouTube Tuesday night. Oh, God, that was terrible. It was only an hour into my upload of my video, and then YouTube decided to die. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, I'm feeling so good about this marvelous matchup. We're already in round two. No, round one, they tied. These two tied the top score of 35 points. Can you look at this? Ah, good afternoon, students. So, as many of you may have already heard by now, my esteemed partner in crime, Mr. Josh Tapia, a man who was doing all of his assigned reading, was working diligently to become more of an academic presence here in the Schmodan. Unfortunately, he did not take all of my advice uh, not to ride around on improvised, experimental, motorized transit. Uh, unfortunately, struck down! In his prime, Mr. Tapia will no longer be able to join us here. We don't have any JTE, unfortunately. Shut How do you up, feel about this, champion? I'm a, I'm a little bummed. I, I wanted some JTE, but 
We wish him well, and uh, we know Snyder's still out there lurking around, so that'll, that'll be just as good. And you may be wondering who my new consort is here for the tournament, my new partner. Uh, we're lucky enough to be joined by a visiting professor, a poet, a philosopher, a great man, my own brother, visiting professor, Jonathan Harris. Thank you. I've been uh, taking a sabbatical of several months, and mm -hmm. I thought I would come by and help you in your little trivia game. Uh, the hard part about today is that, yes, Lon Harris is a formidable contender. He he knows what he, you know, he brings a, a lot of knowledge to the table. He's a good fighter. He knows the game. His brother's a wild card. Like, this is a crazy thing to walk in, and you don't know who that other person is or what they're going to be like. That's a little harder to compete with. Drew, Brianne, I respect you both greatly as uh, competitors, but I do think your knowledge of the cinematic arts will fail, and you will fall at the end of this, much like uh, Thelma and Louise at the end of their mm. great journey. Mm. You're a greater man than I am, Gunga Din. And I just want to finish by saying that I predict the Harris brothers are going to take not only this entire tournament, but soon find ourselves at the very summit, the peak of the Schmodown, because this is, when it comes down to it, an academic challenge, a, 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 an academic decathlon of cinema, if you will. And who else to sit atop the championship but two academics? The finals will be in Oxford, I'm told? Mm, mm. Cambridge uh, and then Oxford. What do you think about it, Brianne? What of do you think course. about it? What do you think oh about it? Oh my goodness. I think, well, I think it's an advantage and a disadvantage since we have played together, but then also the disadvantage of not knowing what's going to be coming for us. So, excited, nervous, puked earlier, so I'm good. I, I puked last week, but that wasn't to make me smarter. Look, Marquia McCarty has more energy than anybody in this entire She's studio. Ready to go. She is super excited and uh, as she should if be. puking made you smarter, points, she oh god, I could have got uh, a law degree about 15 years ago. And Brianne together, they, they look like they have a really good chemistry. Then you go to the Harris brothers who seem to be uh, obviously cut from the same cloth. They know each other. They actually are cut from the they same cloth. They are cut from the same fact. cloth. And because they they have the same type of ar not, not arrogance, but the same type of confidence. Um, now, that's why I said earlier, we know Lon Harris is one of the elite players. You go back to that match that he had against Ethan Irwin, and the guy is still the match of the year. Player. That's why I'm saying that it's my opinion, though, as good. I know it's not going to this win. Be a very, very good team and something to look out for. But like you said, it's just a matter of for your first match to get thrown into a quarterfinal match in your debut. Brian Bishop had a tough time getting thrown into a title match. You mentioned Bruce Green getting t thrown into a title match. So will it affect John? We're going to find out today. And what I liked is that watching those pre-match interviews, it did not affect his oh, stage I presence. No. I mean, he again. is ready to go. Well, the Harris I'm, uh, brothers taking on. Take the cannoli, which of course is a famous quote from the hit the tail Jay of the tape. I'm going to look at the Patreon Christian, stuff for this tell match. Tell us what the tail of the tape is. Well, the As tail of the tape, the Harris brothers will carry over that one victory. Novels, from novels, syllabus, novels. Hmm, is there a novels category? Perhaps. Uh, Still action movies? No, it's all, it just says novels, novels, and syllabus. That's all it says. Novels, 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 and more novels. novels. Yeah. To Welcome to, to the novel trivia showdown. Musicals and entrances for 80s movies. movies. What a surprise. Pretty, uh, pretty ready, pretty all right, if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie, movie trivia, trivia showdown. showdown. Introducing first with a record. Oh, he's going back to the original scene. One win. No God, I wish we could get the Macho Man theme. Give it up for Blood and John the Harris Brothers. Even my mom can get my God. Yeah, that's a true story with me. Oh, so much for that. Uh, the Patreon users for this, uh, unfortunately, are the non-responders. So let's not <coughs> let's not worry about that this time. Led to the ring by their manager, Marquia McCarty, with a record of one win, no defeats. The 2018 free-for-all winner, Brianne Chandler. 
and the former movie trivia showdown team champion, the godfather, Drew McQueenie, take the cannoli! Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, I'm liking it. I like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love this. Brian Chandler is getting Drew McWeedy to play, and I love it. I love it. Yeah. Look at Drew all dressed up. This is amazing. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. We don't know if that's his blood, that's well. somebody else's blood. If Brian might have scratched him. By but even he's too tall to play Wolverine, too. When are we going to get little five foot two somebody to. Cody Hall! He's our man. Right, so our When's Cody going to start playing Logan? Mark, tell him how round number one works. In round number one, it is the team format. Eight questions from eight different corners. But then again, he's with Lon's group, so that wouldn't have worked. The field. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. As soon as one we more swig of tea. Question, please write down your Maybe it will make me smarter. Whiteboard in front of you. <laughs> Keep in mind, although this is the team format, you are not allowed to rely on your I, I was gagging. Honestly, I was not level. laughing this at myself. This is an individual exercise, although each point you <laughs> will be added to your team's total. Each team has three usages of the JTE get well soon rule. If you're not sure you heard a question, you need to hear it again, or you just need to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. Each team also has one challenge to use. Throughout the duration Very important to the discuss match. the rules with All the newcomer right, so here. With that, the Harris brothers, are you ready? Very ready. May I have a quill? <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> I like this. Oh. I like it better than Lon. He's fitting right in, though. How dare you. Take the cannoli. Are you ready? Uh, we are. Stick around, because after this, we're doing a Fish Called Wanda remake. <laughs> then let's get ready to schmodown! Yay! All right, into it. Christian, why don't you kick off? Here we go. All right, here we go. The first category is from the realm of comic book movies. In Avengers, Age of Ultron, who gives Scarlet Witch a motivational speech that convinces her to fight in the Battle of Sokovia? I don't think we disagree with this between the two of us. Who's given more motivational speeches to each other? I'd say I've given you plenty of motivation. Uh, 100%. Five. Four. I've never time. given you one. Every Three. Day you want to quit and go to Hawaii. Two. Well, oh, man, I'm a motivation, I would One, think. Ryan, Captain America. Lon. I believe it is Hawkeye. That is correct, Drew. I oh. believe it is also Hawkeye. John. I have written Hawkeye. You have. Oh, is that the, is that the okay. speech of so the, the, the arrow? One point here. thing with the arrow. One, as the Harris Brothers get it correct, yeah. gets it correct. I'm That's running right. in the battle with an arrow. Barton, yeah. As he may be in the Avengers, I don't think, I don't see play. Hawkeye as motivation. Your next category is the world of comedies. Yuck, yucks, funnies. Your question is... What actor plays Steve Stifler in the American Pie series? Pause one. Uh, right here, my friend Naveed Naka. Uh, this everybody knows. Five. No, he's in the franchise. It's probably Three, not it, though. Two, one, Drew. Uh, Jason Williams Biggs. Scott? That is correct, John. Uh, I have written his uh, birth name, Michael Williams Scott. Uh, <laughs> incorrect. Sean Williams Scott. Yes, and Lance. I also had Sean Williams Scott. All right, tie game here. Tie game 3-3. Three, three. Uh, All right, it's three back to you, Chris. As John yeah, misses that one. All right, here we go. Next question. Dramas. Dramas. Who was Paul Newman's co-lead playing Minnesota Fats in The Hustler? How do you like that? Minnesota Fats <laughs> is a great yeah. nickname. <laughs> here comes. Where are you from? Wait, you claim Florida, New York. What do we say? Hey, here comes New York Chubby. Four. What are you trying to say? I had three pieces of pizza. Three, two. I'll repeat the question. Yep. Uh, who was Paul Newman's co-lead playing Minnesota Fats in The Hustler? Another one that is not right. Here comes the Virginia Tub. <laughs> Five. Four, Can't you tell I know my three, movies? Two, one, You're obviously not watching any of my stuff for yes, that. I was thinking of a fat Minnesotan I know named Clive Earl. That is incorrect. <laughs> is it Brennan Gleason? That is incorrect. Oh. Jackie Gleason? Jack Jackie Gleason, Gleason. Is correct. Oh, <laughs> Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason. So I Lon, got the Gleason. No. The wrong Lon. Lon Gleason. Bandit. Yeah, Lon and Drew have you have me out there. Okay. Okay. Talk to me, boy. Perfect <laughs> Wonder if he ever went home and punched his mama part, in the mouth. Round number one. Your next category comes from the world of animated movies. Drawn by hand or on a computer. The question is. Thanks, Mark. Bruce Campbell voices the character of Mayor Shelbourne. The gluttonous and egotistical mayor of Swallow Falls in what animated film? I'm gonna say a quote from the movie. Now we can watch Jack oh. Gleason while we eat. 
from Back to the Future. Yes. Five. <laughs> no points are awarded. Four. No, unfamiliar. Three. Two. I have no one idea. Down, Brienne. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Correct. One. Oh. Uh, I put Rango. <laughs> Correct. Drew. Right. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And Johnson. Wow. I thought it was the classic Mega Mind. Oh, right. That so is a classic. Mm. Six four could only going back on top here. Six like four. We and Chandler both yeah, have children. Stumped. I wonder if that's an animated question. Or it's <laughs> just not I've my only day. Seen it Seventeen times. Well. Next question. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Freddie Highmore played which role in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Why did you get mad at me when I asked you that question? You answered Back to the Future like you were perturbed. I was even challenging. Oh. Pretty, I mean, I'm not broke. I've seen the movie more than <laughs> once. Five, <laughs> four, you three, never missed a shot. No. Two, one, <laughs> hands four down, three. please, Lon. I believe he was the main role of Charlie Bucket. Correct, Drew. I have his last name wrong. I got Charlie Button. Oh, that is incorrect. Oh, I, we're oh. I didn't know we were looking for last names. I oh well, sorry. Should I just put Charlie? I got it wrong. First of all, first of all, here, here's if it would have just been Charlie, I, we would have accepted. I should have just written the. I just wrote Charlie. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I wrote Charlie. Yeah. Correct. All right. All right. So yeah. Cannoli seven six. Could have seven six. A different cannoli. It's a different person. The hair is. I was wondering if they were going to allow that. Next the next question, question comes yeah. to the world of movie release dates. Oh my God. Yay! Those movies were released in, and your question is: Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Splash, Romancing the Stone, and The Last Starfighter were all released in what year? I would have. I would have gone. Good years. The movie. What's this one? Yeah. I, I can list ten more movies. You know, want to make it even easier? Five, reasons. four, three, two, one. 1986. Down, that would be 1984. Yes, John. The Orwellian Nightmare, 1984. Yes, Brian. 1984. I also got 1984. Got I hear it. it's a good right. album yeah. as well, full of rock and roll music. I like it. Okay, here we go, guys. Two more questions left in this round. Nine, eight. <laughs> Horror slash thriller. Horror slash thriller. Which 1996 horror film was directed by Peter Jackson? Three of us. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. John? The Frighteners. That is correct. <laughs> Brienne? I'm just embarrassed by my answer, so I'm not showing <laughs> it. <That's fair>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am too. Uh, it was The Frighteners. <laughs> that is correct. The Frighteners. Got it. Okay. Did Brienne write a Lord of the Rings film? We'll never know. <laughs> All right. 10-10. Tie game here. Last question. Last question is a Patreon question. Why did back? Sponsored by our patron, John Patterson. John Patterson, thank you. Who actually did not submit a question, movie, so he's going to be just as surprised with this as everybody. Yet. Become a patron today. Select which tier is right for you. Maybe one day we'll I wonder what John, John Patterson wrote for us. John Patterson. Big scores and soundtracks, guy. Uh -huh. That's the category he wants to choose well, today. Well, not Here's really. Round one, courtesy of Mr. Patterson, who composed the score for two thousand. As Brienne laughs because she knows. Of water. <coughs> Miss Chandler knows that Mr. Patterson did not actually release a question. Five, and as far as what I think, four, I have no idea. I'm just guessing. I'll take my one. Correct, Lord. I'm not 100% positive how to pronounce the gentleman's name. Alexander Desplat? Correct. Yeah, I, I did not. Didn't have it? Nope. All right. And John did not have it. when you play the grape escape. Alexandre Desplat. Wow. A two-point lead by the Harris. Wow. John had a little bit of a rough start, but comes back strong in that second Man, they half. stormed the right back. by two here. That's crazy. Is that crazy. score even <laughs> right? I mean, it, you looked up, and it can only yeah. was up by two. You thought they were going to run away with this thing. And then we had a Charlie Button, Charlie Bucket issue. And now, all of a sudden, the Should Harris brothers have taken the ball and run with it to the tune of a two-point oh, yes. lead going into round two. Two-point lead round two. Like you said, Mark, this is a battle already. It's going back and forth just in the first round. How does round number two work? Yeah. Round number two is known as the wheel if round. They end up the losing on the, the, the Charlie goof. Team, Justice, That's going to be some discussion again. Sponsored by a member of the movie trivia Schmodown Patreon, and that sponsor he is Josh Gofton, sponsoring the Who whole did not submit categories. Today. Thank you, Josh Gofton. Uh, his wheel slices for today's match are Stanley Kubrick movies. 
and thriller movies. He likes tingling the mm. spine that Josh Gopton does. Thank you, Josh. And One Wheel Slice, in addition to that, is a sponsored slice, and that would be the Samuel L. Jackson slice. So if somebody hits Samuel L. Jackson, we'll say your name. I'm a person now, who did not submit wheel? a category. So I'll tell you. Each team gets one spin at it. If you're not sure of the This category, was just a very weird uh, situation. Entirely confident your ability to answer six questions from that category. It's unfortunate. It, again, you, know, unless, of course, you know, I get opponent. that, you know, life sometimes Should takes over. There on the wheel each. Category. But when you're, when you're like said, giving that much money for points, Patreon, uh, you are like myself, I mean, it, not sure the it, it saddens me choice. when give you four options, when a tier of that answer, level and, and you get an opportunity to be a part of the show remember, both and both you're not able to you can steal take advantage of it. And it's just, it's unfortunate. I believe I'm done talking so you can wake back up. Well, the Harris brothers have all three of their JTE rules left and Piccoli has... I mean, I take advantage of it just for the fact we're able to, you know, communicate with Brianne. I enjoy that, just from that part. Uh, as a matter of fact, um... We were informed that they are uh, about uh, done wrapping up everything, and so um, we could technically lower our uh, tier just in case, you know, since we're not really going to be contributing anything match-wise, but I told them that I would continue to be on the, the $60 tier just as a thank you to them. I think we can take it. And uh, Brian uh, seemed to appreciate it. the Patreon slice, like I said, so thank you to Dan Streetbeck. Dan Streetbeck sponsoring that Samuel For a category he didn't even submit. Yay, Dan! Six questions in the realm of Samuel L. Jackson movies. Now, if only he was thinking, damn, I wish I had actually submitted a category. All right. First one. Frickin' video game movies we would have liked. George Washington Williams in this 2016 adventure film. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, our that's that's we'll, we'll guess. Uh, time's you got, oh, sorry. Time's up. Yeah, you got it. For the steal. We should. Oh. No. We don't know. Don't don't know. Know. <laughs> nope. Nobody even wants to guess. No. Le the no, legend, of, legend of Tarzan. Oh, well, legend of Tarzan. Yeah. So oh, isn't that? So, well, just, so just to remind yeah. you, you can repeat it. Hmm. How about that? Runs out. If the time runs out, you, got, it's, it, you yeah, can't you take it. You do not lose you points for, yeah, for a missed answer. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Next one. We do it the opposite. Yeah. 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 We don't. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Samuel L. Jackson starred with Hayden Christensen and Rachel Bilson in this Doug Lyman film. Was that Jumper? Yeah, let's do, we'll do multiple choice. Is it A, the spirit? B, it's jumper. Equilibrium, C, jumper. D, paycheck. Jumper? One point. Yep. All right, they got Yay, it. I knew a question. Why couldn't you ask that question in round one? Samuel L. Jackson won a BAFTA for Best Supporting Actor and was nominated for an Academy Award for which film? Ooh. <laughs> Five, four, uh, three. Multiple choice. A, Coach Carter. B, Pulp Fiction. C, Django Unchained. D, The Negotiator. Pulp Fiction. For one point. Okay. All right, using a lot of multiple choice here on a wedge that they did select. They could have spun again. Here's number four. In which film does Samuel L. Jackson get eaten by a shark? <laughs> uh, Deep Blue Sea. Two points. Mm, we were looking for Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Oh, is that not? I had a different oh, yeah, different. Pardon me. Question, question five. Question five. Here we go. In Kingsman, The Secret Service, Sam Jackson's Valentine feeds Harry a meal from which fast food chain? Burger King would make uh, sense. We'll go multiple choice. A, KFC. B, McDonald's. Burger King makes sense Bell. if it's Kingsman. Burger King. I think it, uh, I'm going to guess Taco Bell. McDonald's. That's correct for one point. Okay. Uh, and of course it's McDonald's. They get everything. The yeah. One question left yeah. for them. All right, here you go. This is the, uh, this is the last question. This has been in a number of fine films. <laughs> <laughs> there is one where he crosses a lane with Ben Affleck, I <laughs> Academy Award winner, Ben Affleck. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm telling you, John's better than Lon. <laughs> <laughs> Who plays Samuel L. Jackson's co-lead? In the film Black Snake Moan. Christina Ricci. Two points. 
That's All a right. big two points, two points. Seven point game as take the cannoli steps okay. up to the wheel. How do you feel about it? Well, okay. you're reading them. Uh, yeah. right, Here comes Drew. Here comes 80s. Like every other match. Has that magic touch there it is. From his days right. and above the line. can see it. Last time they played. But he's been bloodied and battered. So look at him. He is a shell of a man. He needs medical attention. Yet yeah, he, he continues might, to play he through He might it. be the best. Uh, yeah, he does. Put, oh, no. Get a blood transfusion. Oh, oh come on. Are you a action, action action At least it's not 80s. They it in honor of the fallen evil genius, okay. Little Evil. They one will more not. Time. No. They will not. No honor. <laughs> no honor amongst. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Thieves. All right, another good spin by Drew. Well, I'm telling you, see if it pays off. <laughs> on a, if yeah, let's take a seat. It doesn't matter. How many Unless you can't see from the table, like then, then we understand. Uh, but this could be opponent's choice. Wait. It's going that way. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Ah! I told you. I told you. Here comes 80s. Jeezy whiz. He's got the magic touch. It's... It's crazy. It's the answer to every question Here in the studio audience today are we just that it's can't win. Index finger and his thumb. Oh, okay. <coughs> All right, take the cannoli. You have spun 80s movies based on the amazing spinning acumen of Drew McQueenie. Drew and Brianne, six questions in this. Question number one. Two points from take the cannoli. Ding! Who plays Jester in the classic Top Gun? Five, four, three, two. Rick Rossovich? That is incorrect for the steal. It's Tim Robbins. That oh. is incorrect oh. for Michael Ironside. Ah. Jester is dead, and so is that question. Nobody gets yeah. the uh. points. Uh, Lon, the, Lon Bum, you knew how big that steal was. That was that a, could have been big, but a very interesting miss. Yeah. Five questions ago in the world of 1980s. Your next question is, who plays Duke, the dog-faced boy in Big Top Pee Wee. Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Doug Jones, B, Kevin Peter Hall, C, Benicio Del Toro, or D, Weird Al Yankovic? It's C, it's Benicio Del Toro. It certainly yeah. is One for point. a point. Yeah. Yeah. He's that weird guy on Canto Bite. Our <laughs> next question is who directed the 1982 animated film. The I'm Secret guessing that X-23 is not going to be much help. She wasn't around in the 80s. For two more points. And the crowd seeming to woo, and then it all went away. <laughs> there are signs of life. All right, your next question. Your fourth in this round. In which Jean-Claude Van Damme movie does he play the real-life fighter Frank Sook? Five. Four, three, uh, multiple two. choice. Is it a kickboxer, b blood sport, c black eagle, or d no retreat, no surrender? I'm gonna go with a. You're gonna be wrong for the steal. Yeah, is, is it a kickboxer, b blood sport, c black eagle, or d no retreat, no surrender? It's b blood sport. It is One in fact point. b blood Kumite. sport. Kumite. Kumite. Mm. <laughs> it's a big steal because now that guarantees the Harris brothers yeah. going into round three will have the lead of some sort. But the next question for Take the Cannoli, the penultimate question in this round, in the 1987 film Inner Space, whose body did Dennis Quaid's pod get injected into? Martin Short. It was Martin Short for two <laughs> points. Yep. It's a three-point game. They can pull within one, but they don't need multiple choice. <laughs> last question here. All right. Your last question. In the 1984 classic Ghostbusters, after Rick Moranis' character, Lewis Tully, is possessed, what is he seeking? Do you mean... The what, gatekeeper. Who is he seeking? Who is he seeking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the gatekeeper. He is seeking the two gatekeeper. Points. Yes. Two points. And, and like I said, they could have pulled within one. Yeah. I am yeah. key yeah. master. Yeah. You gatekeeper. Ghostbusters a number of times. <laughs> and it's merely a one-point advantage for the Harris brothers <laughs> getting into round number three. Wow. What a game so far. One mm -hmm. point as the Harris brothers go into the third round with a one-point lead over Take the Cannoli. And Mark, round number three is the do or the die round. How does it work? Unless we get to sudden death, my right partner. Nobody wants that today. We are very exhausted here. In round number three, each 
team is going to give us You're a all series very of numbers. Tired. They can range from 1 to 20. Uh, Harris Brothers here in the league will be giving us uh, your number uh, first. No. Each uh, one of those numbers will correspond to a different category of movie trivia. The first question we ask is worth two points. We'll tell you the category, and then I'm actually it's up to the team to decide bit. I'm not gonna which lie. member is going to answer that one. All over a trivia show. With your teammate for That's when you know you're too committed to a game show. By the opposite teammate, you may only consult with your teammate for the five-point question, and we go to the Harris Brothers for your number. Or maybe it's all the caffeine and the tea. I will go with four, seven, and eleven. Four, seven, and eleven. He picked all the, the numbers. Brothers. Wow. Eleven. The crowd indifferent. Take the cut only. <laughs> One, five, two. One, five, and two. We'll take the cannoli. Well, they cannoli pick two. Will be going first. They, will be going they first. win. They go with category number one. Category number one. Here we go. Modern classics. Who's going to take modern Yay! classics? Yay! All right, modern classics. We finally get a modern classics right. question. In No Country for Old Men, who plays Lewin Moss? The man who stumbles across a briefcase full of money from a drug deal gone bad. Five. Josh Brolin. Two points. Wow. <laughs> she hits it. 2019, she hits it. And now we bounce Day. over to Modern Harris classics Brothers ain't that shows. hard, people. Number four. They chose number four, numero quattro, or as Bono would say for some reason, catorce. Yeah. And that number corresponds to the world of Tom Cruise. The wild, wonderful, great smiled world of Tom Cruise. <laughs> and your question for two points. In which film does Cruise play a character named Ethan Hunt? Mission Impossible. Uh, that would be in all of the Mission Impossible films. Yes, that any of those are correct. <laughs> and he gets the two points. Two points. And what if he had said Mission Impossible 2? So Would you have accepted Kano? that? the briefcase with the money in it in the third one. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we, all right, here we go. Here we go for the back to take the cannoli for their three-pointer. Right. Drew, you have Denzel Washington movie. Okay. All right, here oh we go. Oh, God. I am the law. Who played Denzel's wife? Oh, it's a training day question. No, I don't have it. No, no, five, you want to guess? Four, I three, two, one. Looking for Eva Mendes. No. Eva Mendes. Eva I would not have. Mendes. Mm. All right, so now we, st we stay with Take the Cannoli, yeah. who needs to hit their five. If that they hit their five, break. it bounces back to the Harris brothers. However, if they miss, the Harris brothers will go on. And if they get it right, we get that meaningless three-point question again. Here we go, guys. So category number two. Just to boost the stats. Category number two is coming of age films. Coming of okay. age. Coming of age. You have okay. two JTE rules okay. left. Okay. Coming of age. Take the cannoli. Here we go. For five points. Why was Andrew, played by Emilio Estevez, in detention in The Breakfast Club? Yeah. They bring you guys butt cheeks together. For five points, there you yeah. go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All yeah right. it was. All right. Deservedly so, I might add. Now we have the three-pointer for the Harris Brothers, who chose number seven. That's right. That's going to correspond to Action Adventure, and that is going to be answered by the lesser of the Harris Brothers, Lon. <laughs> uh, now I accept it. I wasn't ready at the beginning yeah. of the batch, but now I accept it. I pulled Ethan Hunt out of my True, yeah. <laughs> All right, Lon, your question for three points. In the Poseidon Adventure, the ship is struck by a tidal wave, during what holiday celebration? Mm, I want to say it's a New Year's celebration. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Then we'll give you three points, guys. Right. Right. Doesn't, so really doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nice pull, on. Very impressive. They, look, the 25, 24. So here we are. If the Harris I wonder Brothers if they the need to get the final, answer, answer, final answer confirmation for. Advance. Just make if it sweat a little bit. Take the cannoli will advance. Whoever wins oh, will play gosh. the odd couple in the semifinals. Here is your final question. Brother versus cannoli. What a matchup. <laughs> you selected number 11. You were like a brother and to me. The Mark Rippin and you took the cannoli. To why, the brother? Why? Pixar movie. Maybe the Harris Brothers were raised on Pixar. More likely the works of Robert Frost. The question <laughs> is, who voiced 
Slinky the Dog in 1995's Toy Story. Jim Varney. And your winners! Advancing to the next round, Juan and John, the Harris Brothers! The upset of the century! And rest in peace, Mr. Original Slinky Dog. It seemed like they both knew that last question of the world of Pixar. Maybe they were raised on simplistic cartoons. And for Jake the Cannoli, a hell of a performance. I mean, 25 points are on the board. It's just that the Harris brothers were too much. That was a back and forth battle. First round, second round. I mean, here we go, up and down. What a great match that was. All four competitors scrapping it out. Mm -hmm. And the Harris brothers advancing and now will face Andrako and Snyder. Might be the only time the Harris brothers ever won a match. Them Harris brothers and wrestling. So you know, they weren't uh, and, and they weren't yeah, the most so over team we'd ever seen. Yeah, that was that was baffling. They weren't no heart John foundation. Weren't no demolition. We're talk to Jen weren't no road warriors. Both the Harris brothers and Take the Cannoli. Here we go. What's up, movie trivia Schmoda fans? Jen Sturger here with Take the Cannoli. Guys, I don't know if you're stunned, but personally I'm stunned. This room is stunned. After your 35 points in your last match, I think we were all expecting you guys to just come out, but you guys had tough questions today. How are you feeling after this, Marquia? I'm proud of them. I am so proud of these two of my clients of this marvelous matchup because, oh my God, did, did you know the director of The Secret of Nymph? Because I didn't. Did you know off the top of your head? This guy did. I mean, some of those questions, it seemed like the other team got a whole lot of softball questions to me. I'm proud of what they did, but I'm even more proud of this team right here. I can't wait to see this one do some singles competition too. Oof, I know. Well, it, it's a little weird though, because you did hit 80s and that's, we, we know it's your strength, but it's almost like people hitting their strengths lately. And we had Riley, we had Guy. It's like their strengths are just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Well, they're deep cuts and it's funny because sometimes your knowledge can work against you. When they started to ask me the question about Big Top Pee Wee, my brain immediately went to Dog Face Boy, Freaked, Keanu Reeves, and then I couldn't back off of it because I had the other celebrity that's played a Dog Face yeah. Boy. So that happens. Like Sometimes you have so much in your head that it gets tangled coming out. So I, I certainly think that the deep knowledge helps, but it's not always the uh, the key. Absolutely. And Brian, I saw you shaking your head after you guys missed that one steal. I could tell like it was right there and you just couldn't come up with it. <sighs> What's next for you guys? Brian, you've done such an amazing job running our Patreon. I mean, are you gonna keep competing? Can we see you around here? I mean, obviously in a performing in a competitive capacity? Um, I feel like this year is finished, right? There's, cause it's the tournament, the singles tournament, then we get to spectacular. So I don't think you're gonna see me doing the competing right you know, anytime soon, I would think. But but you are coming back, because I can say, having been in this tournament for a while and having competed both against and with several people, you better be back, because oh. this went really well. No, no, but so we need you, we need you. So let's we bring need this you up, back. though. You say this, this collective we. Does that mean that Take the Cannoli might stick together going forward? Because you guys proved so you have such great chemistry. Well, let's see. I'm not. I'm not ruling anything out. I'm not going anywhere. Let's see what happens. And I would be proud to manage them again. Oh. And speaking of, uh, you actually have a singles tournament coming up. I do. I do. And, and you're uh, facing not exactly a slouch. You're facing Mark Andrako. I have known the android for many, many years. Uh, well How are we starting out with like a battle of the ages yeah, as round uh, one? And his brain's very scary. So uh, I look forward to uh, to showing up and seeing what happens. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if you know this. You have something on your shirt. So I, you might want to take care uh, of that. That's from today. It was a little, little bloody out there. <laughs> <laughs> not our opponent's blood, but someone else's. So sorry about that. Oh, God. Well, guys, it was awesome seeing you compete, and I can't wait to see uh, what happens next. Thank you. And we're back with the Harris brothers. Guys, I think that's safe to say that you just pulled up one of the biggest upsets in this tournament. John, welcome, first of all, oh, to the league. It's um, uh, a pleasure to be here. Most people, I think, they come in their first time, the lights get to them, they get a little sweaty out there. And after round one, it seemed like you really kind of settled into it. 
Yeah, I only get sweaty around the last 20 minutes of The Silence of the Lambs or any Demi film. But uh, this was a breeze. I was able to <coughs> take it, and I'm really not too concerned going forward. I really think it's the importance of preparation and education. It's something that I think the Schmodown does not have enough of, people staying up late the night before, partying hard, and not taking this seriously as they would any other item in their curriculum. I was shocked there was not a single question from before 1984. I did not get a question mm. about Sturges, John, or Preston. Tragic. And I gotta say, take the cannoli was no slouch. There was a lot of back and forth in this match. Were you getting a little hot under the collar out there? I mean, you know, you always want to perform at uh, the peak level that you can. You always want to, uh, you know, impress everybody with your knowledge base. Take the Cannoli certainly seemed to have some knowledge about what they were doing in the showdown. Seems to have seen some films from at least the 90s and the current era, at least. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it was an intense battle, but I was always confident that we would pull it out in the end. Were you surprised at all at the difficulty of your round two questions? I, I was a little bit uh, surprised about the number of films with computer-generated imagery in them, but once we got down to the, the meaty plot of the films, of Samuel L. Jackson getting mauled by a shark, I was confident that we would be able to win going yeah, forward. The real highlights of his uh, oeuvre, I felt like. Uh, I was glad that we were able to focus on that at the end of the round. He also gets eaten by a shark in uh, 1998's The Red Violin. Mm, true, how true. Who knew? <laughs> so anyways, I have to ask the obvious question, uh, where does this leave JTE? JTE is recuperating from his injuries. Obviously, we wish him all the best. I've uh, sent a wreath to his uh, hospital room where he's recovering. <laughs> but uh, I think for this tournament, uh, Jonathan, our visiting oh, professor, has come in. It's been an impressive show. I think we want to continue on our current path. I think we want to see the semester through, and I think we will compete together for the rest of the tournament. I'm proud to have achieved tenure with you. Yes, I agree. Mm. All right. Quite. Well, next match, you're going to be facing Andrako and Snyder. And Who? Jesus Christ. One interview yeah. without crashing would right. be. I just, I just wanted to size them up, Jen, because you know I don't know who they are. I've heard of the Cohen brothers, I've heard of the sisters brothers, but who are the Harris brothers? I mean, J John, Lon, who's the third one? Moron. Mm. Oh. It, uh, a, a worthy dig. Is this a prop from some sort of Michael Bay film where he is measuring penis length? I don't know. Uh, are you guys professors at the University of Phoenix? Did you come up with a rhyme that was just one syllable? It would have worked for a lot better. Lon, John, Con, uh, Don, something like that. It's supposed to go like well, multiple syllables. Don't hit, don't put him through the Listen, ringer. He'll ruin the whole curve. It's like a little break from cinema. John, <laughs> John, you impressed me today. You played very well. But Lon, you wouldn't even be here if JT hadn't gotten in. <laughs> Who knows how many words you would have announced <coughs> today? You're, you're very your, lucky. Your former teammate in uh, nationalism, JT. I'm, a, I'm shocked to hear you turn on him. Oh, uh, I, I, I you knew two how were, to corral him. You came up him. with the brown shirts together as co-nationalists, and now here you are. You're dismissing him. How cruel! Listen, I, I would I, never do that to a teammate. Congratulations on your victory today, Mr. Andreco, and I look forward to uh, sending you back to whatever junior college you guys uh, come your, from. Your, your partner who draws the funny books. Yes, I understand. Yes, salutations. Yes, indeed. Well done. Hmm. Just one week, Christian. I would just love to not be crashed. Can we get some security in here? I, I should be allowed to finish my lecture. The Cronenberg crash, oh, not the Paul so Haggis trash. Please. Oh, uh, this is Italian. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Reminds me of my uh, years of studying in Milan. Yes, De Sica used to make me mm. these for uh, me. Uh, yes. <laughs> Well, look at that. I mean, the confidence with the Harris brothers is there, and they said, that basically, we doubted. They didn't. That used um, and to measure you penis length in Michael Bay films. Go into that singles tournament, yep. and Brianne Ooh. Chandler basically said... How did that get past you know, the censors? She, she had her fun, and she's... Brianne has been, first of all, and I said this to her before the match, and I say this now. So Boy, he's going to fit right in Patreon with the Schmodown. But a line like that one. Certainly. Is to yep. our Patreon and everything that she does and all the interactions, so... Thank you guys to, to all the teams here today, and I don't know, that odd couple match between Andreco and Snyder or now the Harris brothers, I don't know. Certainly one to watch because the Harris brothers did not luck into this. They didn't get a nice category that served them well in round two, and they were able to eke out a victory. They won this thing. They came to play, and they're going to come to play the odd couple, so they better prepare. I think that's going to be one of the more anticipated matches all of a sudden in this Anarchy tournament. I mean, I don't know which way that one's going to go. It's anybody's guess as to who's going to take this entire tournament, but the Harris brothers' name should be mentioned in the list of contenders. Well, the Harris brothers are your winners today, and you guys are the winners also. Thank you so much for contributing to the Patreon. I cannot tell you 
how important it is and how it keeps us going. I put a big post in the Movie Trivia Showdown page a couple of weeks ago of how crucial it is and the things that we're going to be doing in the future and how it is really I want you guys to be able to see when you see all these new things happening, the new editors, the new writers, the new things that we've been doing here, and as this thing grows, the more live events we do, I want you guys to look and go, that's because of me. I was able to do that. I contributed to that. I, you are helping us grow. We are giving you more and more in these tiers to make sure that it is the matches hopefully themselves are worth it, but then there's other things inside of that those tiers that we want to make it worth it for you guys. So join today if you're not and help us grow this thing to another level. It was very well written by you. Only two grammatical errors that I'd known and improvement for you. It was an impassioned response and letting Don't people worry. know well, that the Patreon is there for your support should you want to do so. You can always join the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page and check out the Schmodown Rundown wherever you select your podcast to listen to at the gym, on the go, or in the bathroom. For Christian Harloff, my name is Mark Ellison. I guess we'll see him next time, partner. Oh, oh. oh we just no offense, we guys, but uh, no, it's a cannoli. It's not something I want to listen in the bathroom. Take, take the I don't actually do take the, the cannoli. cannoli. <laughs> Thank you, Christian and Mark. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think that might have been the upset of the tournament so far, although. Technically, any team that's got <coughs> Ron Harris on it, I wouldn't consider an upset. I mean, he's just really, really knowledgeable. And as we found out, um, his brother seems to be no slouch either in movie trivia. And uh, really caught their opponents off guard, even though um, take the cannoli. They got a category of strength. We're not able to take advantage of it. Even when I joked about uh, all 80s, 80s all the time, they still get it. I, I feared the worst, but um, the uh, the Schmodown gods uh, were with me today. And it's because I didn't I didn't you know pound the chest and propaganda of who I wanted to see move forward. So um, the Harris brothers they they get a win. It's probably more than what the Harris brothers ever got in the wrestling business. Um, and I'm talking about a different Harris brothers guys. Remember, go back to the beginning of the video. You'll know what I'm talking about. So um, they played the odd couple. That's like. <coughs> Two polar opposites and could go either way. So whoever comes out on top, who knows? And I will not talk about who I want to see going forward because that means all purpose to fail. Uh, so with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Always watch their content first. It's the right thing to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe to their content, and do the same with mine if you like to. Follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1. I post all of these reactions to that page. Follow the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page at the Schmodown. And join the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. And also, well, as they, as they mentioned. Also, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can find me in the next edition of the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown. Where I team up with Schmodown Central host Brad Thomas as we take on Tyler Myers and Tin Sim and the undercard match of that Schmodown Trivia Schmodown match, we will be a lead-in to Ape Flores, Matt Kearns, Chris Talitsky, triple threat main event match with the winner going on to take on either Linus Babcock or Frankie Stats Janish for the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown Championship of the World. Be there. It will happen at some point either next week or the week after. Not entirely sure of the exact date. Um, I'm sure you'll find out eventually. Maybe even by the time this video comes up. So... Be sure to take, be sure to be a part of the, <laughs> I'm choking and gagging on everything. Um, be sure to take part and, and check the, uh, the Facebook page for any updates about that, because that will probably drop uh, when that match will happen within the next couple of days. So make sure you keep track of that. So with that being said, this is JTH. Thank you for watching this edition of JTH Reacts. And until next time, I bid you adieu.